hi to Chaco. Or do you guys say, no, no, Chaco, don't. I don't want to watch Lin. I want to watch Fast versus Binga. I want to see how the third game goes. Damn, new chat rules. Now I will have to add to the conversation. <laughs> I think uh, you don't have to do anything different than you did before Korean Zombie. Angel of War is up, is going up over there. Demon Hunter. Great. Lin, getting a Blade Master, getting the barracks up. Fast tech, one burrow fast tech for Lin. Let's see what blade what blade bash are we gonna get guys? Anyone wanna take any guesses? Are we gonna see Mizuru? Are we gonna see Kajint? Are we gonna see Samuro? Are we gonna get uh Arashi Cage? Are we gonna get Tojara? Maybe Mikasa? Uh maybe did I say Jubei already? Jubei? Uh, Mogul the Sly. Samuro for sure. Mogul the Sly. Well, let's uh, wait a few more seconds. Anyone uh, still have any bets? Tojaro, I see in chat. What do I think myself? Um, Kajint. I, I, I'm going with Kajint. Okay, I'm going to click it. Kazuru. That's not even the name of a Blade Man. So I'm going to click it, guys. We have Tojara, Korean zombie with the call out. Wow, how did you know? Did you just load the game yourself? I bet he just loaded the game himself and he clicked the blade and he's like, Oh, Sojara, you cheated, didn't you? <laughs> Ship it. Okay, no, I don't doubt you. Don't doubt you, Korean zombie. I just, I, I'm just a bad loser. <laughs> I'm just a bad loser. <laughs> I'm sure you just, you just guessed correctly. Oh, he spelled it wrong. Tajora, <laughs> I spelled it wrong. You're right. That doesn't count, zombie. Korean zombie. That doesn't count. It's Tajora. It's not Tajora. Tajora is not a blade man. So you, you lose. You lose, just like the rest of us. <laughs> the blade man, the demon that got the, the oh, demon that killed the level five there. Blade master did the same over here. Uh, they both got a pretty shitty one. Blade master sold his parry up. Uh, Demon Hunter is probably gonna sell. No, do you sell this item? Against the Orc, it's actually pretty. Nah, yeah, I think it's decent on your second hero, like a Beastmaster or a Tinker. But you could also sell it and get that gold right now. Early gold is always super duper good. And the item is just not that useful early game. So you're carrying a useless item for like, uh, you know, two or three minutes. Well, you could just get the gold. But this is 175 gold. Yeah, nice. It was my Twitch spell check that autocorrected. <laughs> I don't believe a word you're saying, Korean zombie. You just lost, just like we did. We have Terror Blade here, by the way, for, uh, for Colorful. He did buy the boots, as you saw earlier. He got a class of attack, he bought the circlet. Use the dust. See, how did he know? Man, beautiful timing. Maybe he saw something with this uh, wisp. He just knows. There has to be a blade master here right now. If he's not here, where could he be? This has already been crept. Uh, this one has already been crept, of course. This one. Did he uh, creep this one already? I'm not sure. Ring of protection. I wasn't paying attention. He got the ring of protection. For, oh wait, this one hasn't. Uh, ah, haven't been. I I forgot, man. My memory of a goldfish. I forgot what I crept already. Uh, Demon Hunter now going for the ogre warrior. He will steal the item. The blade master got a mantle of intelligence. Not the best item in this matchup. Claws of attack there on the demon hunter. Plus fourteen damage. How is hundred seventy five gold better than talisman's uh, second hero, baby rage? The thing is, hundred seventy five gold is really good. If you get 175 gold early game, you can get an earlier uh, Ancient of Wind. You can get your Dudes of Talon earlier. You get uh, just everything up a bit earlier. Uh, Blade Master, let's see, he gets a circle. That's uh, not the item he wanted. He wanted Claws of Deck or Claws of Haste. 
But the circlet, I mean, he's just crying about it. At least it's not a ring of protection. A town is under siege. Blade master, seize the knight of the heroes. Oh, if he's going to keep this without using the dust. Actually, Tojara is not even here. Tojara is going to steal the level 6, but he doesn't have the mana for a wind walk. He just has to walk in with the speed school, maybe, or he's just going to kill shit. Like the archer, the archer, or the... No, he's... Yeah, there's a speed school, but no, that doesn't work. He tried, anyway. But we have the best item in the game here. Boots of Qualta Lost. The Demon Hunter already has these two claws of attack. So I definitely think it's the best one if you uh, if you look at the items he had already. Probably better than the Scourge Bone Chimes. Better than the... Sobby Mask. I mean, all those items aren't even good in this matchup. Well, this Boots is super, super, duper, duper, super, duper good. And, like, it uh, increases your attack speed. So, the more damage your hero already does, the better the Boots of Quattalas is. He finally gives it to the Demon Hunter. Plus 20 damage. Just without the orb. Later, he's going to get the orb as well. And he's going to kill everything. Oh, he's, he, of course, he knows. The spider, no, his Knight of Senses are tingling. He knows that uh, Lin is creeping over here. With the, he, he did get a Sobby Mask. Uh, not my favorite item there on the TC. Actually, this item not that good on the TC. You prefer the other one, the Rope of the Magi. Much better. TC gets out with the Speed Skull. I mean, the, blade, the Demon Hunter does have boots, but the Speed Skull is just too fast. He will get this grunt, though. So far, it's not looking that good for Lin. Oh, what is this? Archer trying to creep by herself. Trying to be a hero. Trying to be a Blade Master. She went down. Tojara, man, look at these items. He only has agility of 29. This one, oh, only 31. Actually, only difference of two agility. But uh, damage wise, plus 20 damage. Blade Master, plus four. The base damage is about the same. Blade Master has critical strike, of course, but uh, Demon Hunter will get an orb and he has evasion. Oh, he said three of eternity. He can. Oh, he has an orb already. Orb on the beast master. The piggy. What's the piggy doing? He sees. Okay, he needs a good item. Lin needs a good item to stay in this game. Actually, he's at uh, level three TC already. That's pretty good. Uh, oh, that's a good one. This is a good one. Every aura is pretty much a good one. Besides, uh, of course, Endur's aura since he already has the TC, so it doesn't stack. Uh, extra movement speed is always good. Uh, extra healing is always good with uh, Spirit Link. Oh, Ancient War went down. That's kind of a waste. But the Demon Hunter is now level 3. That's what he needed. Uh, against the TC. Again, I mean, I feel like the heroes are better for... Yeah, the heroes are definitely, definitely much better for Colorful. Uh, even if we're just talking about hero levels. Even if I'm not talk uh, talking about the items. Level 3 Demon Hunter, level 2 Beastmaster, and level 1 Tinker. It's, uh, it's about equal to level 3 TC and level 3 Blade Master. But the Blade Master is still level 2. The TC though, almost level 4 actually. Did he get a Tome of XP? Wait, do these give Tomes? And which unit does give the Tome? I don't even know. Uh, over here we get another Tome. Um... I don't think he got the Tome of XP over here because then his TC would be level 4 already. Here we see the Tome of Agility. Tome of Agility, so the Blade Master now with uh, even more Agility. A player's forces are under attack. Oh, here's the Tome. Guys, there was a Tome of XP. Hey, Chaco. Friday stream is the best stream. Hey, Burba. The Tome is not moving though for some reason. What makes uh, Friday stream better than my other day stream? Is it just because you're done with work? Or is uh, am I doing something better on Fridays? It's Friday, Friday. Got the stream better than other days on Friday. Got to prepare for the weekend, weekend. We have the Raiders. Does he have a pillage? Oh, I can just select the Raiders. No pillage. This more will take a lot of damage. Blade Master does have an info potion, but these raiders, this raider is going to die. We can't. There was a tome of strength on the red spot. You sure? A player's forces are under attack.
Oh yeah, now I see it. You're right, actually. You see my eyes? I'm getting old. It is red. Now I can see it. From this angle, it's actually... Uh, you see it moving. It's definitely... Uh, not a tome of XP. But the tome of strength. Uh, TC though is already super high level. Level four and a half. We all know if you get a level five TC, the game is over. Especially with the Sobe Mask and the Potion of Greater Mana. Earlier I was saying how so uh, Sobe Mask, not a great ma uh, item in this matchup. Well, if you creep to level five TC, it's it's a good item. <laughs> it's a good item. Any mana item for your TC suddenly becomes amazing. So, uh, yeah, and I don't know why. Why does Colorful just let him creep? He's just letting him creep to level 5 TC. Uh, Colorful had an easy chance to win the game there before the TC was level 5. When the TC was still level 3, almost level 4, you know, when he just grabbed this, when Colorful would have fought at that point, it would have gone to Colorful for sure. The game was so easy to win there for him. With this Blade Man, Demon Hunter that was invincible. Against a weak Blade Master that was not even level 3 yet. Maybe at that point he just, just got level 3. But now, the TC, if they fight now, the TC is going to be level 5. He will pop a potion of greater mana and he will type GG. And Colorful will, will be like, shit, my team hunter was so strong. I was supposed to win this game. And Lin is like, no, I'm a better player than you. You don't deserve to win. You're a little newbie. And the Colorful is, why are you so mean to me? And Lin is like, oh, it's because it's Friday. It's, uh, do we do have a Django though. That's a nice item. It's Django. Oh, no different song why is the tiny tones that you can't pick up those are tones that have been picked up uh, that just uh, the way the, the code works in Blizzard the items they don't disappear the tones don't disappear when you pick them up they just become super duper small uh, the Sims of Agility is super duper good for the Blade Master of course who still is only level 3 so not no level 2 critical strike yet um, yeah you need to read sometimes, encourage reading. <laughs> for the tiny people, for the fairies, of course. The fairies read those tomes, the super small tomes. Another Slips of Agility, this is insane. No, it's not another one. This doesn't even get dropped, Slips of Agility, what I'm talking about. Also, the ogre with the item already died. This was still the other Slippers of Agility. Gives it to the Blade Master, look at him. Now it's 36 Agility. Again, 35 for the Demon Hunter. So even though Demon Hunter is a level higher, even though he got the boots of agility, the Demon Hunter, uh, Blade, blah, 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 Blade Master does have more agility than a Demon Hunter. Do that's a nice mana burn. That's a good start here for. Uh, he needs to mana burn the TC to win. You know, he's level five now. Uh, there was a. Did he kill a fairy dragon? I assume so. Let's look at the TC. Yes, he killed a fairy dragon. So. Um, yeah, the TC is just going to win this game with Shockwaves. The only way for Colorful to win is avoid the Shockwaves. Use Healing Scrolls. Let this Blade Master uh, Demon Hunter win the game afterwards. Uh, there was another Dead Fairy Dragon and this one dies as well. DC has so much mana. What happened to the third game of Fast? I'm sorry, I didn't watch that game. <laughs> because I, I, swing, I switched to this game. So uh, that game is maybe still live even. Fast versus... Uh, uh, thing. Anyway, there was a nice shockwave. Hits the shop, hits four dudes of the tail. And one dies to the Blade Master to use the info potion. There, where is the next shockwave? First, another uh, mana burn. But he's still had mana for the shockwave. He will probably use a uh, greater mana potion soon. There was a heal scroll used by uh, by Colorful. These raiders are going to die. Do we have heal scroll here for uh, La La Lin? Yes, but it's still on cooldown. Uh, these raiders are just killing one druid of the day. And just, but, oh, look at this. Look at this. Colorful managed to still do very well in this fight. The uh, greater mana potion was never used. The demon hunter is super duper strong. The expansion, by the way, has been up for a little bit now. Uh, only 100. He only might about... He only has three peons in it, only mine 200 gold, actually, so far. And Colorful did better than I expected, actually. But the TC still has the greater mana potion, he can still use more. Uh, there is a 68 mana mana burn. Info potion used on the Beastmaster. Uh, he's trying to get a nice position before he uses that mana potion. 
Like if you could get over here, you could shockwave all of them. Another spirit walker does go down. Little 51. So is colorful. There's his mana bar for 74. But don't surround this. this is the Blade Master. There comes the shockwave. Hits like five, six, six tools of the Talon. And maybe a hero or two as well. But there's a cyclone on the Blade Master. Uh, there's another shockwave, killing two dudes of uh, three actually, and dealing damage to two or three more, and maybe a hero or two. But that's the last shockwave for a while. Can the blade a demon hunter make a comeback? Well, he first he has to go home. All these other heroes are too hurt. I don't think so. I think this game's over. Lin is going to uh, win, of course. But the fairy dragons, they cannot get shockwaved, so they are doing a little bit. Okay. Um, maybe the oh no t still 2700 gold in the main so the free expansion isn't going to win the game here for uh or won't pull the game back for colorful for is almost level five as well that's also relevant tc is almost level six also relevant And the TC now going back up to a decent amount of mana. Oh, he never grabbed this. Decides to creep it now. Level 5 uh, Demon Hunter is actually uh, pretty relevant as well. Level 3 mana burn, of course. Uh, it's normally in this matchup is not that relevant because the TC doesn't have that much mana. So usually it's just. Yes, uh, about 300 mana usually the TC. So you get one mana burn in and two shockwaves usually. Sometimes if you get uh, really lucky or you're really good, you can get two mana burns in and one shockwave. But level two mana burn, actually it would make, uh, level three mana burn would make a difference. A little bit, but usually it just has a little bit over 300. So the extra 50 mana burn that you mana, uh, usually is not that effective, I think. That's how it feels like to me. Anyway, there's a nice mana burn on the Blade Master 44. Did he uh, finish this? Yes. It's going to be so difficult for Colorful. It's going to be not so difficult. Oh, for uh, Lin. Did you, did you just write imbalanced? Because, can you say the word imbalance actually? Because the word imba is uh, banned in my channel. I wonder if you can say imbalanced, which uh, contains the word imba. I assume not. Uh, Blade Master and the Raiders, yes, you can say imbalanced. Oh. The Raiders are killing the Moonwells. Where's the TC? The TC is over there. All the dudes of Taden here hiding in the back, of course. They don't want to get uh, shockwave to death. Keep you out here for Lin. Woo! God, that was so wrong. I tried to make the dog sound. I sounded more like uh, like someone at a party. Be like, woo! Let's party! Imbalanced? Okay, you can say imbalanced. Maybe I should ban that word as well. Because it only uh, makes for weird, stupid arguments. Stupid uh, chat. Chat I don't like. We have two uh, two Jews of Talon hit by that shockwave. Moderator goes down. Why I can't say imba? I banned that word. Someone actually just write it. No, I think I'm. I don't think you get banned for writing the word. I think you just can't write it somehow. I don't know how it works actually. One more drill the talent goes down. I think you can send a message maybe or I don't know exactly what happens. Uh, this there's another shockwave kills the drill of the talent. Hit one more in the back there. The sticker also got hit, of course. Blade Master, if you can kill the Blade Master, are you kidding me? Yeah, but the TC, all the TC has a mana potion though. 
Uh, but the Druids of the Talon, you saw them running away. They see the TC in the corner of their eyes. Immediately they run away. That's what I would do if I was Druid. There's a mana potion! It's like four more Druids of the Talon directly. Oh, there's a healing scroll though. And uh, no more... Uh oh, there's one more shockwave. If he can mana burn. But he keeps a uh, Demon Hunter and Snare far away from the TC so he can use one more shockwave. Meanwhile, the Spirit Walkers are dying to the Tinker and the Beastmaster. The Blade Master gets a Cyclone. Uh, he has plenty of heal potions. No more shockwaves though. 36 against 58, but it's not over yet. Uh, the Tinker uses healing potion. Blade Master keeps being cycloned. Uh, there is uh, another cyclone. The TC don't attack the C TC. He's level 6. The Tinker goes down. There's a mana burn on the TC. And uh, all these units are super low here in the back. But the birdie goes down. The, the, this guy can snipe all these spirit walkers. There goes one. Uh, this other one is taking a little bit of damage. Look at this fairy dragon man. Just speaking <laughs> of uh, spirit walkers, picked up two of them. I have to say that Lin is pretty good at this game, though. Yeah, I'd, I'd agree with that statement. <laughs> His peons taking some damage. That's twenty-three damage. I mean, all these peons are dead, and remember. The main is out of gold now. But to get a free expansion here for Colorful. Maybe this game is still not over. 40 supply gets 45. The TC is uh, level 6, sure, but he doesn't have uh, mana. He can could use one more shockwave unless he gets mana burned in the face. Uh, but he's gonna shockwave these, these guys, maybe. There's a cyclone. He can mana burn, I think. Oh, there's a shockwave. Only hits a Beastmaster, though. So it's not that uh, great of a shockwave. Uh, the Beastmaster though is pretty low hit points, has a TP out. But Colorful is still in this game, guys. He's still in this game. Kills on TC, very smart. He's, he comes back with full hit points, full mana. And it's not like his opponent knows that uh, he did this. Although, he can guess. He could guess. But it's a four minute cooldown. It's very unlikely that he's going to be killed in the next four minutes anyway. Especially because his opponent, uh, Colorful, doesn't know for sure that he just killed it himself. Unless he can see it, spot him right now, then he sees it like, oh, full mana, full hit points. Then he knows he's been reincarnated. But if it takes some time before he sees the TC again. This birdie is not killing peons. <laughs> what the AFK birdie here? It's a blizzard birdie. This tree of eternity is under attack. We have uh, five of these guys. Which do double damage against heavy armor of the tree. The TC is killing uh, Deuce of Ten in the back with the info potion. He cannot get mana burn. Beautiful shockwave. And this tree of eternity went down as well. Can the demon hunter still win this game by himself? I don't think so. He's going to die. No, he has the info potion. There's a piggy. All the Deuce of the Ten have been killed. And the Tinker, it's just the heroes now for Night Elf, but the Blade Badger kills the Tinker, and there it is, GG. Now you see what I see. Great. Demon Hunter is level 1. And he is level 2 now, guys, and this Grunt was ensnared, but he gets unensnared and he runs. Uh, this Ancient War takes a bit of damage, and West goes down, no detonate. Blade Badger got a Claws of Attack, the Demon Hunter got a uh, Claws of Attack. Better item for the Blade Master. Uh, but the Demon Hunter, he's not complaining. There's a mana burn. Maybe we'll get another Boots of Quota loss. Places down Sentry Ward in his own base. I'm not sure if that's worth it just to do a bit more damage to the Blade Master, especially this placement. Blade Master just bought some dust just so he can kill the Sentry Ward. He knows where the Sentry Ward is. I know where it is. I'm sure Lin knows where it is. He's a better Orc player than me, guys. Kappa. Chaco, don't troll. Don't troll about that. Okay, he kills that archer. Nice kill on that archer. Of course, he has the dust. He could have killed her with the dust as well. He just heals off on the grunt. The demon hunter is creeping over here. Let's see what item he gets. Maybe another. What item does he want? So I feel like these sentry wards are not placed at the best position. In fact, one dies. So, second sentry wards would actually be the best items, but uh, illusion, second best item, of course. Blade Master is doing something over here. Oh, I'm disconnected, guys. If I uh, if I play a game, it can somehow reconnect me. But when I watch a game, it can't reconnect me. 
need a Chinese VPN. Yeah, but then I need to connect to the Chinese VPN. <laughs> Which is still the same problem. Uh, the Blade Master is killing this Wisp. Can you reach the Wisp? No. Can you not kill the tent? 75 hit points. I think you can just kill the tent, by the way. But people probably forgot, forget, at least Lin forgot, that you can just kill the tent and then kill the Wisp. I mean, there's no way... Uh, Maybe the wisp can go to this tree if he does that. No, I don't think the wisp can go in the tree. Can the wisp hide over here? Don't think he can hide over there. Demon hunter. Two claws of attack now and a greater healing potion. Kiss eagle eye. Two claws of attack here on the bait master as well and the circlet. Circlet was of course bought. So even though I said that the Claws of Attack are of course better on the Blade Master than on the Demon Hunter, I do think that if both players uh, get stacked up with Claws of Attack, it's better for Call of Fall than for Lin. Right, so if both players have uh, 6 Claws of Attack or 2 Claws of Attack, it's better than both players not having any Claws of Attack for the Nido for Call of Fall. But the Demon Hunter wants the uh, circlets. That's even better. Instead of two claws of attack, he rather wants two circlets. Chaco, do you work out your buttocks? Uh, maybe? Uh, not really. I think. I mean, I do squats, but that's more for my legs, right? I'm not sure if I uh, do anything. I'm not sure if that, uh, if that also works out my buttocks. I don't think so. There's the orb. And there are some Truth of the Tail and Master trainings. Meanwhile, Lin is playing standard as well. TC is level 2 now. He has an. Oh, there's Shockwave. Blade Master is level 2. A player's forces are under attack. Healing self. Does he want to creep this? Yes, of course. Is he just going to. No. This level 5 is the guy that carries the item. He carries a game changing item, actually. Oh, the demon hunter in a bit of trouble. He still has a greater healing potion. It stops him out. He can drink some mood juice. Nom 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 nom. Doesn't drink anything. There it is. Go. Uh, it's not nom nom. It's what? What was the sound? Go, 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 go. But I can't say the files. I need to practice that. Blade Bash is killing this level 5. Who picks up the item? The TC. Uh, Hellstone. Okay. It's not actually, uh, it's actually the worst item he could have gotten here for Lin. But it would have been an amazing item for Colorful. You sit a lot on chair while streaming, you need strong buttocks. I guess I, I work out my buttocks while sitting then. You know, sitting all day requires a lot of, uh, a lot from your buttocks. Just go back to my decks, what item is game changing? Uh, the item from this ogre on this side can be game changing. This time it got, was a health stone though, uh, which is not a good item. He does pick level 2 with uh, critical strike like a good orc player, not like Sawin, but like a top orc player, like a top 4 orc player who always picks level 2 critical strike in uh, well, level 3 B, uh, Blade Master. This Druid of the Talon. Is about to die. Oh, the shockwave! That's level 1, guys. I forgot it's no longer level 5 shockwaves. Or level 3 shockwaves, I mean. But maybe a mana bird. Oh, he's still only level 2. He's killing these units in the background. The Druids of the Talon just uh, running for their lives. Uh, this grunt is going to die here. There's that, that grunt. The Beastmaster killing raiders. The Demon Hunter is still killing these spirit walkers. The peons are trying to kill the Tinker while the Tinkers fight against the grunt. Maybe the, uh, the grunt should be focused. There are the focus fire of the Druids of the Talon. The Why did they kill the Illusion? The Blade Master would use the Info Potion to kill the Illusion Demon Hunter. What a waste of the Info Potion. There's another Cyclone. Maybe maybe he thought it was a real Demon Hunter. Or maybe he just didn't pay attention to his uh, Blade Master. There goes the Spirit Walker. He's looking super duper dead bad here for Lin. He's going for this uh, this Druid of Talon. There he kills it with the Critical Strike. He's going to buy a Heal Skull. Uh, there's no Heal Skull available. 
someone uh, I guess bought it earlier already, don't know who and don't know when, it was probably Lin himself. Uh, there's a nice shock uh, mana burn on the TC. 44 spike is 40, Lin is gonna lose his Blade Master. He bought the Info Potion, he can uh, use it. So he's not, he might uh, be able to save him, but seven seconds is not enough to uh, fight his way through this. But with the Raiders it is, of course. Oh, he wasn't even surrounded yet. Oh, Beastmaster is fighting here with the piggies. Demon Hunter uh, fighting. Okay, there's the Info Potion. The Druid of Talon is dead. Could have birdie formed, but he was too late. The TC, what is the TC doing? Okay, instead of killing the Blade Master, he's like, okay, I'll just kill your TC. You know what? It's fine. That's fine with me as well. And Lin is like, yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't think. Li well, it's 48 against 48. Oh, Lin's units are still healing. Blade Master is at like low hit points, but he has a health stone. Okay, can he kill the Tinker? He's going for the Tinker. There's a Cyclone, so he cannot kill the Tinker. It's too much. There's no chance. There goes the uh, first Spirit Walker. Lin, even if, if you know, if you if it comes to this, have we ever seen an Orc player win? I'm sure we have, but it's very, very low chance of winning because you cannot heal up while the Night of is in front of your base with his piggies. So that's why you just went out to fight. Demon Hunter has to use the uh, something. Demon Hunter is surrounded by Raiders and uh, Blade Master, but there's Cyclones, there's infinite Cyclones, of course, for that Blade Master. 46 spikes, 39, another Raider goes down. Tinker's level 2 now, and he gets her engineering upgrade. Blade Master going for this Pocket Factory, very smart. The Pocket Factory does so much damage. But he's losing the shop in the meantime. Uh, he has healing cells. That's 1-1. One, one. Yeah. Is the TC almost out? The TC is almost out. I feel when you lose a fight on the map, maybe you make destroyers. What? De destroy uh, demolishers, you mean? In base? Demolishers? Uh, but the Orc doesn't get a war mill in this matchup. It's too expensive. You don't have the 200 gold. EWCL Team A1 first Team Go. Is that live today? Shit. I would have wanted to uh, cast that, but after GCS, we are going to do the Bald Play uh, qualifiers. The monsters are trash. Well, if they are defended, I mean, there's a strategy where you go to monsters actually against the Druids of the Talon. We don't see it very often because it's it's not the best, but. You have to buy a war mill. War mill is pretty expensive. There's a peon here with like two hit points. Oh, he dies to the, the goblin. 50 spy gets 41. What's Lina going to do? That's a shop over here. That's smart, of course. That's super duper smart. Late master needs an info potion. He has cyclone. But how is he going to win this fight? Okay, maybe some nice shockwaves. Just level 2 shockwave though. What is this white screen? It's uh, it's stretched. Stretched. It's, it's because Nettys doesn't support white screen. So I have to need to uh, use some hack to make it white screen. And uh, that hack doesn't work of course for tournaments, for official games. For golden games. So we get stress games. The Druid of Talon went down. But uh, this game is still Lin. Okay, Lin, maybe he can make some kind of comeback. If he can get a lucky, uh, some lucky critical strikes, kill a Demon Hunter. Uh, or maybe Beastmaster, or maybe Tinker. And, you know, level up his TC. You know, he has a chance. He has love for a Demon uh, Blade Master.
Uh, like he needs a good item here. That's the start of the comeback, of course. Was a good one. Uh, Warzone Battle Drums or Catcar's Pipe is maybe even better. He gets. Oh no, he gets a Crystal Ball. The worst one. No, the second worst one. Django would be the worst one. There's a Shockwave. TC uh, stays out of range of the Demon Hunter. Snares the Demon Hunter. Another Shockwave would be nice. Oh, if you could move to over here, a Shockwave from uh, there would be super duper nice. Of course. Uh, Colorful wouldn't let it happen. He can just cycle on the TC if he cannot uh, mana burn in. The Blade Master is, uh, is surrounded, but well, the, the Demon Hunter might have to TP here. He uses uh, Healing Scroll. And that's it. Demon Hunter is actually just going to fall. But he lost a lot of units. Lin lost so many units in the uh, in the trade. It wasn't even worth it. Was it? Well, maybe it was actually. Well, he used a lot of items. Wait, who used items? Both players used items. I see only one dead raider, to be honest. Oh, but the Blade Master is now surrounded. No mana. He might kill this druid of the Talon, but then he's going to die himself. And a 74 kill of strike. And then the TC. No, the Piggy is next. Wait, no. There was a Cyclone. The item. He used the item Cyclone thing. The Wand of the Wind on a Piggy, guys. Demon Hunter is back from the tavern. Guys, an info potion. What the heck, you just turn on 16 by 9 in options? No, that's not how it works. Not on Nellies. You cannot... Uh, unless there's a new... No. Unfortunately, that's not how it works. There's an option for widescreen, but... It doesn't like, actually do a widescreen like on, uh, on Dolby Free Arena. There's a nice Cyclone. There's a nice Counter Cyclone. Cyclone on the Beastmaster. This is as you see the Demon Hunter has to use the Info Potion again. There's a Mana Burn, but uh, he uses one Shockwave. Demon Hunter, maybe he can kill Demon Hunter again. No, there it is, GG. Noble Vigility here uh, for the Demon Hunter. For Colorful. Class of Attack as well. Uh, that's pretty good, of course. That's pretty good. Gloss of Haste, that's uh, actually pretty good as well. That might be the best one for Lin in this matchup. Uh, because she just the DPS is just so important in this matchup. As you can see, he has 24 agility now. The Demon Hunter has 24 as well. But the Demon Hunter has 21 strength. Oh, he's level 2 already. Oh, Demon Hunter, of course, level 2. So level 2 Demon Hunter with a Tome of Agility has the same agility as the Blade Master. So I think he only gets one agility with a level up. There's a lot more strength though, he's also more more IQ. The Blade Master go for this level 5, but the Demon Hunter go for the Burrow. There is that cancel on the Burrow. Second good is going to be super duper late. Uh, this Renegade Wizard. Flood of Accuracy is not very good in this matchup. In fact, it sucks for Orc. Actually, it even sucks for Night Elf. Both players don't want this item. I mean, it's, uh, I mean, for Night Elf, you can keep it. But if you get it early for Night Elf, you sell it. If you get it late, you can't keep it. Depends if you have a level 3 Beastmaster already or not. He bought a circle. To, we're going to see, see... What do we see here? He keeps the cloak. Buys the staff. Okay. Late Master saying hi. There. That was his greeting. Says hi with his sword. Here comes the archer and the demon hunter. He has to staff. He can always staff out. He can cancel this burrow, but not the second one. He uses dust. His archer is dead. Uh, but the burrow is also going to be cancelled. The archer hiding in the trees. She's dead. There's a level 2 blade master. Now, now he has critical strike. But the demon hunter just walks out. Meanwhile, the grunt is being annoying over here. We have uh, Ancient of Wonders going up. That's uh, beautiful. That's smart. Building Ancient of Wonders. And the Demon Hunter going back in. Can he cancel this burrow one more time? He's definitely going to try. The Blade Master is creeping over here. If he gets slippers, man, if he sees some slippers, this is going to be an insane game for Lin. He's going to win this so easily. But he gets a mantle of intelligence, no slippers. So uh, it's going to be a bit more difficult. Of course, the uh, mantle of intelligence is a all right item for the TC. And once the TC has level 5, it's going to be an insane item for the TC. But for now, we don't even have a TC yet. We don't have a sneaky hunter's hole. 
we do see just a standard uh, play here for Night Elf with the Druids of the Talon. The, the guns are defending here, but the Blade Demon Hunter is by. Oh, wait. No. Okay, it just stops out. Getting some moon juice. I don't think he can cancel anything. The Beast here is built outside, actually, but he's too far away. By the time he reaches the beast area, it is already up. A player's forces are under attack. And there's the Ancient of Wind. There's the second one. You want Blade Master killing this rogue? And here comes the Blade Master. Like, as I said, the Beast area already up, the Spirit Lodge also up. He's just going for Grunts at this point. There's nothing else to go for. Grunts are, of course, easy targets with the Piggies. Two Piggies, a Demon Hunter and a Beast Master against Grunt. Guess who wins? Well, the Demon Hunter might have to be, be staffed out here. There's the staff. But the Grunt is taking so much damage. 83 hit points, uh, 70 hit points, 44 hit points. He, the Blade Master just kills him, slices his face off from, from not from behind. Just from right in front of his face. I mean, what, what kind of letter are we going to send to his family? Sorry. Family of Mr. Grunty Punty. Grunty Punty died. To his own commander. The commander just was angry at him. Sliced his face off. He didn't do a good job. This other grunt also taking a lot of damage. We don't have boots, but eventually that grunt is going to die. And this piggy is uh, in the base. Poof. Without the Grunty Putty, it's going to be so hard for Lynn to creep. Chaco, you're reading staff wrong? What do you mean? Staff? Staff of preservation? Staff of teleportation? Pronouncing? How should I pronounce it? Staff? don't think I should pronounce it differently. Or do you mean the... No, I don't know. Anyway, the TC is creeping here with the Blade Master. He buys a Berserker. Did he... Uh... He got a Belt of Giant Strength. That's a really bad item. I mean, you, you don't sell it. Well, maybe you do, but maybe you don't. I mean, I probably wouldn't sell it. My intuition wouldn't t tell me to sell it. Because it does add... Okay, maybe you sell it. Maybe you just sell it, guys. A are under and this uh, this piggy goes down, though. That's revenge for those two grunts. And he's, of course, he's building more... Um, Raider... Walker. Spirit Walker. Oh, here's the Blade Master. He's too late. Actually, is he too late? He's too late for XP. Yeah, the item was also picked up here by the Demon Hunter. This beast master takes a bit of damage. Ace of War is going down. Like Neo. Staff! Like that. Staff! Stave! With the dots on the A. Stave! Stave. Stuff and thanks. Stave! Anyway, the TC is level 2, the Blade Master is level 3. Uh, he does have level 2 Windwalk, no level 2 Critical Strike. Uh, this is a gamble, of course, always when you are level 3. He's still very fired. There is there's Cyclone. Like, the level 2 Windwalk is just like a gamble that you can actually do damage with that uh, Blade Master and get to level 4 at some point. Because if you can't, if you only have a level 3 Blade Master, that's even worse than a... I mean, if you only have level 1 Critical Strike, that's even worse than a Blade Master with level 2 Critical Strike. How are you going to beat the Night Elf with level 1 Critical Strike? Well, the TC is almost level 3. That's definitely something he needs. He still has the uh, Belt of Giant Strength. He didn't sell it. <laughs> you pronounce it just fine to let him get you. Yeah, <laughs> I figured it's just trolling on... I don't think I was saying stuff incorrectly. 
Here comes the Blade Bash. Is he going for Piggy? No, it's going for Druid of Talon. There's a nice Cyclone on the Berserker. There's a Pocket Factory. Shockwave hits like two Druids of Talon, but that was Cyclone. Uh, was just level one Cyclone. Uh, level one Cyclone, yeah. Level one Shockwave anyway. The Beastmaster took to some hits. Some's a Piggy. Two Piggies here. The Beastmaster being. Oh, the. the she be blocking the Beastmaster. Now he's blocking the Grunties and the Peons. Look at this position fighting next to the Sheepy, so he cannot be attacked from all sides. What an intelligence there by Colorful. He still has a healing scroll that he can use. Lin is not winning this fight, of course. He, no level 3 TC. Sure, there's no level 3 Demon Hunter, but uh, who can Oh, he used a heal scroll. The Beastmaster still alive. The Tinker in the meanwhile killing this entire Orc army by himself. Look how, all, how hurt these units are because of that one Tinker. Berserker takes a little bit of damage. Do we see uh, almost level 3 TC by the way? Almost, but the Tinker is. Can he kill the Tinker? Use the Info Potion. That's a dead Tinker. Now we have a level 1 mana burn, but he still has mana for Shockwave. Level 2 Shockwave. It yeah, would be pretty nice. There is a shock. How did he got the Shockwave? You guys saw the TC turn like at the sec uh, last moment. He hit some dudes of Talon, but uh, that Shockwave was not game winning just yet. We'll see. Actually, Lin is. Uh, did win the fight in the end. How, how? I don't know how. Killing the Tinker, I guess. That's how. Well, it's not in the end just yet. The fight is still ongoing. The uh, Beastmaster is buying Heal Scroll, but instead he's uh, he's being targeted by the Blade Master, TC, everything. He, he goes down. Now it's just a Demon Hunter. Demon Hunter and one Piggy, of course. Uh, Raider goes down. There's more Cyclones on the Blade Master. Raiders. Uh, Pretty ballsy fighting against the demon hunter. There's another cyclone. Oh, Blade Master has to TP out. Has to TP out. One, a uh, few dudes of the Talon dying there. This one survives with 12 hit points. I mean, it's still, uh, it's still anyone's game to be honest. Still, I think Colorful actually, he kind of lost that fight, but he's still in the game. If he gets his heroes back, he should be fine. Horrible micro by Colorful, he really should have won the fight hard. I think he should have won the fight as well, yeah. Then you know, Torn are master gymnastics. Or gy gymnasts? I didn't know. The five raiders here creeping without the hero. Oh, there's a TC. He uh, doesn't even use a clarity. Some oh, Tome of Agility. Uh, this is always something interesting to me. He's just not planning to fight anytime soon. But that does give the elf a lot of time to get his heroes back. I mean, the Tinker's just level 1. He's going to be back. Look how fast every time when I see this. It's like a race car. It's just like a race car racing over this uh, this black area. And filling it, it with paint. This Tinker's already halfway out. I've just been looking at this Tinker. And it's like... Time goes so uh, goes by so much faster when we look at the Tinker reviving. It's just level one. The Tinker's already almost out, and it's it's just look at this Druid of Talon is going to welcome the Tinker back to the the land of the living. Never mind the Druid of Talon that gets away in time, and the Tinker now he, he's back, and he drinks some juice. Oh, so tasty for some more mana, and uh, we have heroes again. Level three, two, one heroes. I still think Colorful should have this game. By the way, guys. We have a heal scroll, heal scroll, and the info potion. Okay, we. Was it an illusion? We have the items here for Lin that he needs. Do we have the item here? We have a heal scroll, we have a DP and healing potion. The only thing is, we have a level 4 Blade Master now, actually. Level 2 Critical Strike. But I still would say, if this was life, if this was life, guys, I would uh, bet my money on Colorful. If this was uh, anyone besides life, like Colorful. I still uh, think Lin has a chance here. The peon goes down. Did he just? What did he just buy? A TP or another info potion or something? You uh, info potion. Okay. Shockwave hits the pocket factory. One druid of the and a tinker. They master gets cycloned. Why is not Lin going over fifty? I don't know. Another keeps forgetting a stare at this 
That is a BCRB man. He's really trying to get a BCR. What is that? Shockwave only hits a Demon Hunter. He's out of mana. He has a mana potion. Actually, now he has mana for one more Shockwave again. Demon Hunter is pretty low. There's a Shockwave. This one was beautiful. There's a healing scroll just to uh, counter the beautiful Shockwave. BCR is actually uh, going down. No more Raiders for a little bit, but he still has plenty of them. Six Raiders. But if he goes over 50 now, he goes over 50, one Spears Walker at a time. Unless he can buy some Berserkers, of course, but he's not going to build Grunts. So Lin stays at 50. But Colorful went over 50, guys. Colorful went over 50. Always strange to see Night Elf go over 50. Some Night Elves never go over 50. They just have 50 to buy an orb for every hero. They buy more healing scrolls. They buy, some. in some cases, they just get nature's blessing and they build Ancient of Wars. Beastmaster are killing Beastiary. I mean, maybe, maybe that means there's just something uh, wrong in the Beastiary. Maybe the animals aren't treated right in the Beastiary. 50 supply elf versus 50 supply orc should win easy. It should. Until we have level 5 TC, of course. At that point, I'd say 50 against 50 is pretty uh, even. But the TC is only level 4. It gets a greater mana potion, so so much mana on the TC. Depends on the hero levels and, of course, the items and. Uh, Health of the units, mana, position. Uh, there is a pocket factory. The Raiders have surrounded this one root of the tail. And, oh, uh, what was that? The team members just healed somehow. Was it a healing potion? The shockwave hit like three roots of the tail and killing one of them. Team member used the info potion. He's still fine. Beastmaster uh, uses his healing scroll. He's also still fine. This burrow is in danger. We have three fairy dragons over there. Actually, uh, Fly Lin also went over 50, went to 56, he's uh, building Raiders again. There goes Druid of Talon, there goes a Raider. This, uh, these Druids of Talon are being focused again. The DC gets Mana Bird in the face after he used a Mana Potion and one uh, Shockwave. So the other Mana Potion, the cooldown on Mana Potion is actually super low. He can use the second one already if he needs to, and he probably needs to. He, I mean, how else is he going to win this game? I mean, there is no more healing scrolls. For colorful uh, TC, if he gets around though, that's gonna be a problem. There's another shockwave 55 supply and 50. At least Lin is getting a higher income being under 50 supply. Actually, losing the burrow means he cannot go over 50. Demon Hunter in the front might die. Oh, gives a TP to the Demon Hunter and he survives. Uh, Info potion was used on, on the Blade Master, of course, to kill the Demon Hunter. But instead of killing it, he just forced a TP. These uh, goblin guys, they're trying to kill this one raider. Shop is still up. Burrow is being rebuilt here for Lin. Remember, by the way, guys, uh, they faced each other earlier in the winner bracket. And Lin won there, I think, 2 0. So even if he loses this pass of 3, it's. I mean, Lin is still pretty good at this game. So it's a birdie. A town is under siege. Lin is saving so much gold at 50. Over 1k, he can buy all the items he wants. He has a healer soul, he buys. What does he buy? Oh, nothing, nothing is available. Uh, he's waiting for the item that he can buy. Okay, Colorful is waiting so much time while he's over 50. Lin also went over 50 now with another Raider and a Spirit Walker. Tome of Knowledge is always nice. Demons are almost level 4, but the Beastmaster is hero that's important here. 
Level 4 Demon Hunter, no one cares. Level 2 Evasion is... I mean, it's nice. It's nice. But level uh, level 2 Piggies, that's really, really nice. You know, Lin. Oh, that's a level 4.5 TC, guys. If he can get level 5 TC, it's GG. Lin will win this game, for sure. He's getting Pillage. He's buying some items over here. Healing Skull, probably. No, no, Healing Skull doesn't have the money. He buys TP instead, because he wants to... Uh, TP out, kill some Moonwalls of course first. Does have two healing shots on the Blade Master anyway. Beast Master still not level three. He's very close though. One Moonwall one do went down. The Ace of Wind is probably going down as well. This Raider is uh, is dead. I think he killed the Ace of Wind as uh, revenge for losing the Beastiary earlier. But there's a peon under attack by Druid of Talon. Maybe the Druid of Talon should not be hunting peons by himself in the open. 58 supply, supply against 59. Now we have Colorful that's supply blocked. But Colorful has more gold still. But does he have two healing scrolls like uh, like Lin? That's one. He's gonna buy another one. He has an info potion. And buy a second info potion as well. Ooh, that's nice. He has a 15 second info potion from here. That's a super item. The Demon Hunter is actually level 4. The Beastmaster got level 3 from the Raider. That's also super duper good there for uh, Colorful. But the TC, if you can get level 5 TC, guys, Lin is still going to win this game. In fact, Lin is now 5 supply up. But is he going to be creep jacked? The birdie will see it. The birdie sees the go uh, golems. Yeah, they're called golems. Golems move out. Golem! Golem! This is uh, Smeagol. Smeagol the golem. Uh, this is just normal golem. The peon goes down. And he's going for this golem. I don't think Colorful should let Lin get these golems. I don't think he should allow that. I mean, but is he just... I don't know. What is he doing here? Gets his level, uh, this first one, this is one level 6 golem. Gets some XP on the Blade Master. A player's forces are under attack. Oh, this Peon, Peon also going to die. The second Peon, no, this one survives. He's still poisoned though. 57 against 61. The TC, he's going for a flank, shockwave. There, he hits like four dudes of the tail, and one of them dies very fast after being uh, chopped to pieces by Blade Masters and Raiders. There are the disco balls for the party in the front. This uh, Druid of Talon will uh, die very fast. This Raider as well though, it's uh, about to die. This Druid of Talon same story, this with the Raider. Oh, he targeted that Druid of the Talon with the shockwave. Or did he? Or maybe he just got banner burned in time, I'm not sure. But either way, his uh, shockwave was cancelled. And he's out of mana now. This, uh, this Beastmaster still has the info potion. These peons are very low hit points. Use the info potion on the Beastmaster. The TC still has the potion of greater mana, but maybe he doesn't want to use it until it's level 5. So he can use level 3 shockwaves instead of level 2. Let's go for the Demon Hunter. Demon Hunter does ha not have anything to save himself though. Does he have a staff? Does he does have a staff. He could have staffed there. But he loses the Blade Master to the shockwave even. He has level 3 shockwave now. And this has to be G. G maybe it should TP out. Colorful could buy TP and TP out because if he stays in this fight, he's going to lose. Everyone knows it. I know it. My viewers know it. Um, only uh, he doesn't. Actually, he's getting. Uh, as long as he keeps cycling this, this TC before he can shockwave. Uh, oh, but the blame uh, Beastmaster goes down. If he just listened to me, bought the TP, uh, Colorful would still be winning this game. But now it looks like uh, that uh, beautiful T uh, shockwave there on like. Five or six dudes of Dalen. Six actually. GG. Colorful GG's out. Lin wins in the end.